Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Cancer. With this Ten of Swords being here with the Three of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune and the Magician being at the bottom of the deck, I feel like somebody is trying to manifest um, this isn't like a union or reunion. Somebody wants to have a good time. Or maybe you will be out um, celebrating with someone. There's a positive shift or change. Maybe you're going to go out and you're going to meet somebody. Um, this, this feels like it's future for some of you. Or maybe it has already happened. But it feels like there's going to be a shift in the energy. You're going to be out somewhere, maybe with friends or family. Um, some of you could just be going out, hanging out, um, casually dating, whatever the case is. There's about to be a positive shift in your life, though, after the Ten of Swords, after you feeling like you're at rock bottom, feeling betrayed, mentally exhausted. I'm getting where somebody is going to talk like on the phone to somebody all night. This could be you um, reconnecting with somebody or you meeting somebody for the first time. But there's a very nice energy something about flowers some flowers could be significant so some of you could be going on like a first date somebody may bring you flowers or something like that i don't know this is different eight of cups you're, you're moving away from this ten of swords energy something having you weighed down for some of you you could already be like in a connection and you and this person are there's a change here that's happening. Five of Wands, yeah. There's been some type of conflict or drama. Evil eye, jealousy, envy, something. Um, somebody could have just been dealing with their own internal struggles. Somebody is now walking away from something. And the Three of Wands, they're thinking about manifestation and expansion now. The reading that I posted earlier today, it was a major, major attack on a lot of divine feminines and masculines, but a lot of attacks on relationships. I want to say this too, because it came to me last night and I have a very, very important message. Um, I've been writing notes about it. it. It may just be like one of my tarot talk <laughs> messages and I'll, I'll post it. I may actually post it like this Sunday. We may have tarot church. Um, I've, I've had a very, very deep. I'll say awakening like an upgrade that has come and it has revealed so much to me about karma. But that, that's, that's, that's for an, another day. I was getting because of the readings that I've done this week. Several of them have been picking up magic and spell work. And I feel strongly that what some people don't know about magic is that Depending on the magic, depending on who's doing the magic, depending on who you're doing the magic on. The time for magic to work varies. For some people, it hits right away. And I remember doing a reading a few days, maybe last week. It was almost like some type of group was waiting on magic to hit like a person or a couple Venus was in retrograde some time ago. So was Mercury. And now they're both direct. I feel that for some people, and this is especially if you are involved with somebody. It feels to me like some of the magic that was sent out during retrograde, you could be seeing the effects of it happening now. The reason why this is so um, confusing it's because you may have really been feeling like, wow, like everything should be good now. But all of a sudden, it feels like this crash and burn kind of energy. You don't need to let this um, bother you too much because if you allow it to get you down, the magic is going to, um, it may stick. It may be easier for it to, to stick to you and to work. We never, energy is fluid. Time is an illusion. So a lot of people were sending out, like throwing a whole kitchen kitchen at you with their, their kitchen magic or, or even the high level magic. And 
for some people, you're like, what the, what is happening now? It's happening. It could be happening to you now. Or for some of you, you were dealing with a lot of turbulence and chaos in your relationships, not just your romantic relationships with, with people at work, um, trying to figure out, you know, who's sending the evil or the bad juju to you or whatever. And that's starting now to shift and change. There's a change here. This Eight of Cups, to me, it's 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 not just you walking away from something. There is some type of negative emotion that's leaving. That's how I'm seeing it. And these are cups. It's emotions, but you have swords here and the Five of Wands. So the way I'm reading this is there's been some type of negative energy that has been sent to you. It could have had you feeling down, depressed, oppressed, mentally exhausted. You could have been having headaches back problems like there's been a lot here it's the five of wands somebody has been sending chaos to you but you also had some type of negative emotion that was sent towards you and the the goal was to make you act very irrational so some of you you've been not perhaps not in your highest vibration or your person has it because of an energy that was sent to you the empress is here and the six of wands so here's a shift or the change. You're now about to have this, this positive new beginning or an outcome or whatever it is here after some type of juggling. Yeah, whatever this is where someone was juggling or there was some kind of instability, there's a breakthrough happening for love to come in. Yeah, it's, it's real simple. This was some type of chaos magic sent out. And this, this is interesting because I've even noticed it, even like on YouTube. I see, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to talk about it. That's okay. Ace of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, yeah. Somebody was investing in something, but there was chaos and confusion. Some type of illusion about a person coming towards you. So somebody sent out an energy and it could have delayed something here. The strength card, 8-8, eight, eight, Lion's Gate portal. So something could have even been done around the Lion's Gate portal. Somebody could have created burdens. That wasn't that long ago. Yeah, somebody was trying to create burdens to make sure that something ended. They wanted something to end before it even got started. Somebody is finally leaving behind some kind of stronghold. Like I said, it's an emotion of a stronghold. This could be... Um, Python spirit, Leviathan spirit. It's it's a spirit of oppression for sure. And a lot of confusion and chaos. There, there was this was dark magic sent to somebody. But somebody is manifesting a new beginning. There's there's about to be a celebration here. Divine feminine, whether male or female, you're gonna be able to celebrate. I mean, it's so clear. Yeah, here it is. Seven of Swords. Somebody wanted to one-up you. Five of Swords. Who was this person? Half of the time, it don't even be people that you know. Ace of Cups. Yeah. It was. This was love magic. Three of Pentacles here. The King of Wands. And the Page of Pentacles. Yeah. See, somebody wants to come towards you with an offer. This could be an offer here for you to step more into a leadership role. So this could have even been something in the workplace for some of you. Six of Pentacles, receiving rewards and recognition. The Three of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. You're going to receive rewards and recognition for something that you've been working on or someone that you are connected to or about to connect with. Oh, yes. Structure, stability. This is that empire state of mind. Somebody once they get, it's like when somebody gets this leadership role, this could be a celebration of like a promotion or something. And I'm still hearing that, please stay with me tonight. So it's like somebody's like, man, when I, when I get on, when I get this new job or, you know, when I get this new place or something like that, like they're going to want you to join them. Somebody wants you to join them in sharing this good news. 
It's like somebody just like, yeah, I'm coming out the fire. Five of Cups. Yeah, after a lot of disappointment, justice. Something here is going to be balanced out. Libra season is coming in, and it's going to bring wish fulfillment. Nine of Pentacles. Someone's security and stability. Something is going to be restored. This is redemption. Yep. Two of Wands. If someone is taking action toward something that they've already been planning and manifesting. Because they've said no to something toxic. So that they can have freedom. And it's whatever this stronghold is. Some, somebody sent the negative energy here to corrupt a person, to have them feeling down and out. This person, they didn't get stuck. Mm -mm. This person's taking a leap of faith towards the Ace of Pentacles. They could be holding back right now. The Four of Pentacles can speak of somebody planning, budgeting. Somebody's keeping something real close to their chest, though, with a new beginning. Seven of Wands. Yeah, because they're trying to protect this new beginning. This could be you or somebody else. Somebody, they work very hard to invest in a situation. They're keeping it so close to their chest. They're, somebody here is really not telling too many people much because they're too confused right now about who to trust. You could even be dealing with somebody right now and you're wondering why they're not talking to you about certain things. This person has gone through some type of betrayal or, of course, this could be you. You don't feel safe or comfortable with telling anybody anything right now. And your intuition is telling you to do that and you should listen to it. These cards were together in the reading before the Hierophant and the High Priestess. For a lot of you, whether you're divine, feminine or masculine, you are individually ranking and leveling up. But for some of you, you are going to be coming into a partnership. This, the world card speaks of um, mission complete. It's like a spiritual graduation. It's ascension. It's an upgrade. A cycle is closing out. So for some of you, somebody is holding it very close to their chest. I'm getting for somebody here. They could have already had dreams about some type of connection and they've been invested in it. Now, for some of you, you have a person that has had... Uh, seen a vision or a dream about your connection and they invested a lot in taking action to block it because they wanted to hold you back but then on the flip side you have somebody that has been dreaming and fantasizing about a connection they're working very very hard right now to take action towards you because they want to protect you with this connection and therefore they're keeping it close to their chest because there is absolutely two people who are stepping fully into their purpose whether apart or together because keep in mind that this is like a soulmate or a twin flame. You guys may not be meant to be together romantically. That doesn't mean that the two of you aren't, aren't truly divine. And meant to go towards, you know, just whatever your, your purpose or your destiny is with the world. Ace of Wands. It's a passionate new beginning though. And you're going to have victory and success with the chariot card. Six of Swords, wow, and the Six of Cups. Whoa, this is amazing, seriously. So it's like something comes into your life and it brings this new passion, this creativity and all of that. But when I see the Six of Cups, the way I've been noticing it lately for me as a reader, there's something about a connection here that makes it's you're familiar with it like energetically there could be some kind of karma attached to it and i'm telling you what i have this epiphany that i've had about karma is a game changer for me um six of cups it's like somebody comes in they're like a soulmate or they're from a past life therefore when they enter your life it's 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 new it's exciting it's passionate that does not mean that there won't be lessons attached to it. And a lot of people tend to confuse good things with bad things, bad things with good things because of their perception of how karma works. There's good karma and there's bad karma. A lot of people are in between worlds right now. Um, that's not a bad thing, but you're shifting completely out of your south node and you're going into your north node. You have people who are part of your soul family. Some of them are in your life because of bad karma. Some of them are in your life to bring you good karma. Some of you right now, you have somebody there in your life or they're coming into your life and it's something good. 
But there is some type of lesson here that you still have to learn. It's a lesson also about moving forward. The emperor, I'm sorry, the high priestess and the hierophant are here with the world, the fool card, the ace of pentacles. It's something about releasing ace of swords, understanding your truth, being limitless, having this freedom. Again, like I said before, the hermit is here. The hermit has the light. It does, you have the light and that's a beautiful thing. You have the love, you have the light. The hermit has the wisdom, has the knowledge. Don't ever think that because you have the wisdom and the knowledge that that doesn't mean that you won't still go through darkness. You will continuously go through different cycles throughout life for an awakening. So something here has been some type of delay possibly. And it's all right here. This Ten of Swords, Five of Wands. Some, this right here was some kind of delay or destruction, whatever. And it was meant for you to go through an awakening. So it's like you're on your way to exactly what you manifested or you've already received it. Don't, um, don't question it simply because there was a lesson here first. Yeah. The awakening here, it brought, look, the king of swords and the queen of swords with the nine of wands in the, in the middle. You and someone both, communication could be a challenge. You and this person, if you're coming together with someone, you have to learn a truth about communication. There has to be a truth here about wisdom, a truth, clarity about judgment, about ego, about compromise. These two people are like, my point My point is more important than yours. The nine of wands in the middle. You and this person, you share that energy of being resilient and also being the wounded warrior. So all of this chaos came in because spirit was like, you need to take a moment for a moment. You need to take a, a, a chill pill and figure out where is this toxicity coming from? It has something to do with, with the mind and communication. Now that you are about to finally understand that, whether you're coming out of a relationship and you're about to meet someone new or you're currently in a relationship and there's just been issues, which is normal, natural, especially because recently we did have Virgo and Mercury in retrograde. Mercury being um, the ruler of communication. Venus, did I say Virgo in retrograde? I'm sorry if I did. Venus in retrograde, the house of love, love and communication has been a challenge. But now it seems like someone is having a full awakening and making a decision. Okay, yeah, we can get through this. Or you're like, okay, I know now exactly what I need to do to have the Ten of Pentacles. I know what to do. I know what not to do. I know what to say. I know what not to say now. So this is this is really good progress for people who have, have kind of bit, wow, Two of Cups. There you have it, Two of Cups. Two of Cups, so there's a connection here that's being healed. And there could have been a separation. Definitely some ego. Somebody felt like my way is better than your way. What I have to say is more important than what you have to say. I know more because I've been through more. I'm more awakened. I'm more aware. I've had more delays and I've had to walk through the fire longer than you, whatever. So I know, and the spirit is like, no, you don't. <laughs> not, not exactly. This connection is being healed or you guys are healing and you're going to go into a very, very um, healthy connection. Again, that does not mean that it won't still have some kind of challenges. This is to the point. I'm not even going to drag this out. <laughs> That's how the messages have been. I think it's because all of us are going through like this massive um, collective like awakening. Like the messages are so clear. They're so detailed. But it's more of like the spiritual guidance that I've been receiving more so than like the readings. Look, something here is faded, but you've been stuck at a fork in the road. There was a temporary pause or delay that needed to happen. Well, for some of you, there was an ending that needed to happen. You, you, you're leaving a connection. And when you go out and you find the next person, you're going to be ready for something very serious. Or like I said, maybe it's been a connection. It's been difficult for us to get off the ground because of different mindset challenges, beliefs, communication. It looks like you're gonna you're ready now to make the decision to say like, yeah, let's let's do this. Two of Cups and a Ten of Pentacles. This is long term commitment. You're 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 getting on the same page with somebody, and somebody's gonna be telling you to take, please stay with them for the night. Mm -hmm. 
breathe. Yeah. Clearing your mind, practicing mindfulness, um, prayer, meditation, being centered and grounded is very important. This is a lot of self-control. Po yeah, poise. It's all about self-control and patience. Learning that your way isn't the only way. There's a change in the way. I'm telling you, something here, there was some type, somebody needed to come clean or or speak out about maybe something in their their shadow that was bothering them. This was needed so that you can exchange gifts because you and someone both, you're coming out of your south node going into your north node. You're in between worlds, but spirit is going to give you a leg up so that you can have this new life. This is so good. Ooh. Yeah, time out for this never-ending story. This never-ending story of you falling for things that are fake, phony, and wicked because you learn now everything that glitters isn't gold. And when you hear a person say everything that glitters isn't gold, that's, that's just you understanding about judgment. Don't, don't misjudge a person and miss an, an, an incredible opportunity. Don't go towards a person for, oh, remember before I, I said soul food. It's not about the glitter. You want the gold. You want the soul food, not the eye candy. And you could be one of those people. You've been in a never-ending story of being in between worlds because you've fallen for a lot of trickster-like energies. Yeah. So some of you, you have Yang here. Somebody wants to come in. They want to take the action to, to really go the distance with you. This never-ending story in your life is coming to an end, but you have to understand that something has to be done by the book. It has to be done the right way, meaning that how you see people in situations, it has to be done the right way. Some of you that want these very long-term committed relationships, God is going to have to be at the center of them. And there will be challenges. You're going to have to change how you see certain things, the certain things that you do. It doesn't mean you change yourself. But, and I say, if you follow my channel, I say this all the time, the healthy relationship that you have after the toxic one, it'll be much harder because you're being forced now to learn how to love like you haven't been hurt before. You're being forced to communicate without being defensive and easily triggered. Like, that takes effort because your brain is literally being reprogrammed now for something that's happy peaceful and harmonious and those types of connections they take time now everybody doesn't look at entertain entertainment news i don't either but i've seen it all over everything a lot of you guys have probably seen what's i don't remember the talk show was it i don't know what the name of the show was but anyway I think I know Jeannie or Jenny, and who who was married to Young Jeezy. Now they are an interracial couple, but if you follow her, because I I actually followed her um, for a long time, she had a lot of if she, no, she's not the only child. She had a lot of issues with her mother and toxic relationships. She did not want to have kids or anything. Her and Young Jeezy, they got married. She had a child. She seems to be very, very happy. But he just filed for divorce. You know, a lot of people don't hear about men filing for divorce. And you guys see on my channel, I've been talking more about narcissistic women. And more comments are coming out about the situation. And something was reported. She has a lot of anger and temper issues. But see, when you get into what... You know, you hope to be a healthy relationship and you still have the trauma from the friends, the family and the ex-lovers. That light and that love from that relationship, it will trigger you and cause you to lash out in a certain way unless you really, really tackle that, that shadow aspect of yourself. Some of you could be going through that right now. It's like there's a good person in your life or about to enter your life. The message today is get ready. Clean up your house. And it's, it's so funny because a lot of things to me are symbols. I, I deep cleaned my own house the other day and I was cleaning the window seals. And as I was cleaning, I went back and I got like a water bottle. And I mean, I got all in the crevices. Like, it's, they're white, white. Like, they're super white. 
But the message that I was getting in that time was for the type of energies that are coming in, they're very, it's like a holy type of energy. Also for the Holy Spirit to dwell within you and around you, you really need your house to be clean. The closet, because what's coming in now for you, it's not looking for glitter. It's not eye candy. This isn't the type of situation where somebody walks through your house and they just notice, oh, there's no shoes on the floor. Everything is tidy. This type of energy that's coming in that wants to stay there, they're looking in the garage. They're looking in the closets. They're checking your window sills to see how often do you clean? So make sure that, you know, it, it's a metaphor, but make sure an analogy Make sure that when you are going out in the world now to celebrate and you're looking for love, you want love to find you, good friends, um, just people who are aligned with you, that your house is clean, meaning your spirit is clean. Because you can judge a tree by the fruit that falls off of it. And a lot of people don't really do the shadow work. They think that they're so, so great, but the fruit of the spirit you can read about it. You can learn about it. You may not be the most patient person. You may not be a person who understands forbearance, being steadfast. You know, and trauma in your life will cause you to be, you know, quick to say certain things, lash out, be defensive or whatever. You have to let that part of yourself go. Because a lot of you, it's like a whole death to what you know to be your, your truth and your norm now for you to welcome in the real truth. A lot of people too in the collective, you could be going through breakups and divorces. You chose a person for you. God didn't choose that person for you. Now you're going to find the person that God chose for you. You're going to find the job or the opportunity that God chose for you. Not that you chose for yourself when you were actually being blinded by your own shadow. So you're going to have to clean yourself up. We're going into fall or in fall harvest season. Think about your harvest. You have to get the weeds out. So it's it's a it's a pruning season, which makes sense it being Virgo season. Introspection. What did you learn during Mercury retrograde and Virgo season? What did you learn about yourself? Not what you 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 noticed about everybody else calling them karmic and bad. What did you learn about yourself? Because when you meet a highly evolved, awakened, and aware person, they're not looking for you to point your finger at them. Do you know how to point the finger at yourself? Fast movement. I told you something is about to move really fast. And we have to change in the wind. Whoa. <laughs> Blessings. Fertility. Pregnancy. <laughs> Somebody wants you to stay the night now. Be careful. <laughs> Be careful. Distance. There could have been some distance between you and someone. Physical or emotional. You may have had to put your boundaries up to work on your own self-love. Some of you are recovering from like a false twin flame connection or just some type of connection in your life that wasn't divine. You've gained a new perspective about this. And now it's like, yeah. Somebody could have had a third party situation that's holding on to them, which makes sense with that strength card and eight of cups. It's an energy. It's a stronghold. But some divine masculine is going through an awakening. They're seeing something for what it truly is. This person is missing you and within a few weeks. I want something good like juicy, juicy change is coming. It says big changes are coming. Trust the process. Trust your spirit guides and angels. Your ancestors, they're protecting you. I've been saying for a long time, a lot of you that's looking for love, look, celebration and manifestation. Very first card was three of cups, the empress, the magician. So you are manifesting celebrations, good times. This comes after someone goes through the dark night of the soul. Why? Because they're dealing with some type of betrayal that they hadn't dealt with before this ten of swords something had a person feeling like they were at rock bottom and they could have walked over so a lot of people tend to just 
walk away from people or situations. It could be a job, friend, family member, lover, and they don't really heal. Somebody probably needs to go within and really notice like, hey, I'm still in pain from a past situation, divine feminine. This could have been you and this person both that needed to heal something from the past. Yeah, because you both were triggered. This triggering though, it forced you now to take action. Some of you, there's been spell work done to make you and a person separate. What it actually did is it made you and this person separate and work on yourselves and you're gonna come back and be stronger than you were before. Some of you, if you don't know this person, you're going to meet someone and you're going to realize that they're a vibrational match because they've left something behind. You've left something behind. They're healing. You're healing. So they, they understand. They understand the journey. Fire and desire, gifts and offers. Somebody wants to offer you something. This energy is just so, so peace and calm chemistry there's an undeniable chemistry between you and this person Ooh, and they want you to stay then i keep hearing this, please stay with me tonight <laughs> i keep hearing it you have your brotherhood somebody could have been talking to their bros or their friends <laughs> about this like i feel like somebody's like man i really can't deny this so somebody may be asking you to go out or just take things to the next level Somebody is definitely getting advice from like their friends about this. Someone could be single, considering a relationship. They may have friends who are married already and they're asking them like, what do you think about a situation here? You have ghosting and timing issues. Sometimes it can be the right person, but the wrong time. The communication between you and someone could have changed more than friends. Yeah, this person loves you, though. So it, it seems like somebody took a, a time out and it only made them realize that they want to be with you or around you. So somebody here, like, either you ghosted this person, they ghosted you. I don't I don't think that grown people are, are ghosting each other. I hope not anyway. But the, something could have changed with the energy or the communication. And somebody may have been thinking, like, oh, well, maybe this isn't, isn't meant to be. I think after talking to friends and praying about it and thinking about it, yeah, this person's like, no, I think it is. Divine union. <laughs> Somebody's like, no, this I knew this was love at first sight. It's divine union. However... Somebody had to take accountability for their actions and there has been a third party interference. A third party doesn't mean that there's necessarily like cheating, but some, I feel what I'm getting mostly, someone had not fully healed from a previous situation. And I feel like that's the divine feminine and masculine, but the two of you, you are attracted to one another because it's peaceful. This person, they only want you the main attraction, but you are this, yeah, here it is, Harvest. You are, you, you, there's been a seed planted and it's about to grow into a beautiful harvest. There's true love here, but there was a time out for an awakening. It's a good positive change coming. So I hope that everyone receives this really positive, uplifting, optimistic message. Um... You guys go out, have a good time. Try to enjoy this this nice weather. Um, you know, try to look your best, feel your best, have a positive attitude. You know, people don't don't let the chaos and the confusion get to you. Just keep in mind, you know, it's not something to focus on, but you do have have people sending the evil eye and sending different things towards you. But a lot of this stuff, it it happened. You know, things are going direct. You already are aware of it. So just protect yourself, but stay as positive as possible. There is something good here. Definitely. And I just looked over at the bottom of my deck. Here is the two of cups. Partnership. Yeah. You and someone are learning how to compromise or you're finding a person that you're truly compatible with. And you both are coming to the table with 
the right mindset about emotions, love. Um, it's, it's mutual respect. And there's going to be a lot of chemistry. So that's good. And we saw the Ten of Pentacles. So it, it has, you know, a chance to really go the distance if you want it to.